Liverpool City against Preston North End, match day one in the Premier League and my first ever match day vlog. Today is a massive day as Hull City face Preston North End in the EFL Championship as both sides try and improve on their last season's campaign. And I'm here to experience it with you. Hull City fans can agree with me when I say they didn't have the best of seasons last year. They were battling relegation for most of it and it was only after the signing of Ali Arsaid Manesh that they really turned their season around and just survived relegation. On the other hand, Preston had a respectable 13th mid-table finish in the Championship. They started the season off quite poor after an opening day 4-1 loss to Hull City. But they've improved and they come 13th. However, this season they look completely different. Hull City and Preston North End are trying to push for playoffs. Hull City have made a total of nine signings, including Jean-Michael Seri on a free from Fulham, and as well as one of the biggest names in Turkish football, Ozan Tufan, for a region of around £4 million. Preston have also made some amazing signings, with Tottenham star boy Troy Parrott signing on an initial one-year loan deal, as well as ex-Burnley star Robbie Brady on a one-year deal. Today, I travel 140 miles and over two and a half hours to the Deepdale Stadium in Preston, which hopefully will be another stadium I'm able to tick off out of the 92. That's enough from me, the MKM Stadium. I'll see you once we get down to Preston. Now let's get a name and number on this beauty. Here we are, the Deepdale Stadium, home to Preston North End in the Championship. My hands are shaky, I haven't eaten, but it's, uh, it's a lovely ground. That uh, over there is Bill Shankly, a legend of Preston. And uh, it's a massive stadium. I wasn't expecting it from Preston, but I mean, fair enough, it's lovely. The away end, it's all right. It's not the biggest. I was expecting uh, a few more seats. I thought we would sell out a whole stand, but there's, uh, there's all of that that's been guarded off. Um, I'm gonna go and have a, uh, a nice burger, I think. Uh, and I will come back to you uh, just before kickoff and when the lineups are being announced. Right, we're here with the legend himself. Oh, Grandpa Joe, how are you doing? I'm all right, mate, I'm all right. Right, firstly, how was it having an amazing channel and having a lot of fans? <laughs> yeah, going Cheers, up Marcus. You. Cheers. We'll take it, we'll take the compliment. Yeah, well, what's your score prediction? Score then? prediction, I think we'll win 3 1 today. Right, 3 1 scoring. today. Scorers. Um, Estupinian will score first, <laughs> then it will be Tete, and then it will be Sayad Manesh right, from left, right. left wing back. That's a fair Putting Sad on his right foot, shades of KLP. Yeah, well, enjoy the game, mate. Uh, cheers, right. mate. 35 minutes to kick off. The lineup has just been announced, and the team has just come out, all City, out in the Black Tourney game. In goal, Matt Ingram, Tobias Figueroa, Jacob Greaves, Alfie Jones, Louis Coyle, Ali Arsai Benes playing left wing back today, with Seri, Slater, Ozan in the midfield, and up front, a stupid Yan. Here's the team warming up, a pyro has been set off in the concourse, the atmosphere is building up today, maybe it might be packed out. by Matty Ingram at stays level. Corner to Preston. I mean both teams are playing well, there's been a few chances for both teams but it's been all been all Preston at the moment. About 25 minutes into the first half, the atmosphere is electric from the whole fans. I don't think I've heard a chant from the Preston one apart from a uh, an older man in the uh, family stand uh, shouting at us. I mean, it's all been pressed in this half. What a tackle, Jacob Greaves. 
What a player, Jacob Greaves. Free kick for Hull City. They're taking it quickly. Back to Mika! Side, Manesh crosses it in. It's Benjamin Tate. Still, Hull City have come back into the game a little bit more, but just hear the atmosphere at home. And now pressing on the counter attack. It's a corner, Michael Seri. Elvis, they're singing Elvis. Michael Seri to take it in. Front post, and it's cleared. It's half time, I'm 100% going to get copyrighted here. The music is too loud. Uh, Preston's had the better chances. They've got a few good promising players on the bench. Young, Von Corville. Bring on the second half for Hull City. The atmosphere's been absolutely incredible. Right, let's see the second half. That time means one thing for the Preston fans. We're having a little dance for the, uh, the half time music. Brilliant. Got to love it. Second half has kicked off. Mozan, two fans. Preston have just hit the post. It was a lovely shot deflected by uh, Matt Ingram. Hull City just don't look like they want to. They don't want to push on. Adjun's in the crowd. Everyone singing Adjun, give us a wave. But uh, again, Preston the better team. What a save by Matty Ingram. One of the best saves of the game so far. Preston's got a corner now. Ready to whip it in. He whips it in. Ouch! Out by uh, Tobias Vigodero. It's not looking good. Double substitution for Old City. Benjamin Tete and Oscar Estupinian has come off the pitch. Uh, Vaughan Corville and Callum Elder. Calls for a penalty there. Side Manesh falls to the ground. I think there was contact, but. Not enough for a penalty. The referee hasn't given it. Oh, interception by Ozan. But again, it's lightening up again. Here's Louis Coyle, can you keep it in? You can just hear the atmosphere. Substitution for Preston. But again, another long throw in for Callum Elder. 80th minute, the game's gone dead. Nothing's happening. Best thing that's happened is this commentary. There we go. Yeah, nothing's well happened. In, We've had a few chances. We've missed them. Preston's had a few chances. They've missed them. Sky high. It looks like it's going to be a nil-nil draw. Written all over it today. Get back to if anything happens, but uh, I think the next thing will be full time. Coming off the pitch, the Turkish magician, Ozan Tufan. You can hear what the whole fans think of him. Coming onto the pitch. Number 14, Andy Cannon. Michael Seri lost it. Robbie Brady got the ball. Chips it over Matty Ingram. And Jacob Greaves to clear it off the line. Probably the best chance of the game, if I'm being honest. Five minutes time has been added on. Again, nothing's happened. Hardly any shots. I don't think Hull's had a shot on target. 20 seconds left of the game. Ah. You can hear Joe in the background. Nothing's happened. And that's full time. That's it. Nil nil. And there we have it. To start the channel off, we have a nil nil draw. Couldn't be any worse. But at least it shows that not every game will be a thriller with loads of goals. It was a boring draw, and I think everyone who watched the game could understand that. Both teams showed promising moments, but for me, Preston just created more chances, more shots, and at the end of the day, were the better the team. For Hull City, my man of the match would be between two people. Matt Ingram, of course, after them fabulous saves, he kept us in the game, and if it wasn't for him, I think there was about four chances, we could have been 4-0 down. And also Jacob Greaves, although it wasn't his best game that he's played in a Hull shirt, he still was amazing. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. It's been an absolute pleasure taking you to watch Hull City versus Preston at the Deepdale Stadium. I mean, 
if I had to give it a score out of 10 on the day, I'd give it a solid four and a half. I mean, wasn't the best result. The stadium was all right. The food was expensive. But at the end of the day, it's football. You can't predict what happens. I will see you next week. Well, I'll see you in three days for Bradford away in the Carabao Cup.